when when we learn english we cannot help but to learn grammar right? if you remember back during our school days pun a uh, bila belajar english kena belajar grammar so uh, sebenarnya sepatutnya grammar ni telah dikuasai lah kot sebab kita kena belajar daripada darjah 1 sampai darjah 5 and then if you masuk universiti ke masuk colleges ke we still have to do grammar so my question is grammar ni susah ke ramai orang yang ramai orang yang when 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 they are ask english ni macam mana dia akan kata english susah sebab ada grammar so what do you guys think about this susah ke senang ke dia kau ni ubi ni adik kau tak ada apa tu orang nak ah ya Allah aku Okay, uh, so ramai orang buat anggapan grammar ni susah ha? Tapi um, in my personal opinion As an English teacher, grammar tak susah Cuma dia menyusahkan Nonetheless, uh, we still have to know The very basic of grammar ni If you want to do well in English Sebenarnya kalau kita nak belajar apa-apa bahasa pun The grammar part of the language is important Is 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 crucial lah for us to no about it. Kalau kita boleh berbahasa dengan baik. Apa-apa bahasa pun. Okay. Uh, so. This is another question that I would like to pose to you people. Do you ever feel like English is a secret code that only some people know how to use? Okay. Uh, macam a secret handshake or a special way of talking that you just can't seem to figure out. Okay. Sometimes when we hear people speak English, kita tak faham. Okay. Uh, so ada banyak sebab lah yang kita tak faham tu. Ada mungkin sebab the accent ataupun maybe because of the words they are using something that we are unfamiliar with. Uh, apa lagi sebab kita tak faham. And more often than not, we are unable to understand these people because we are unable to figure out the structure of sentence that they are using when they speak or when they write. Okay, so nak tahu sentence structure ni, kita kena understand ataupun we have to know the grammar part of, of it lah. Okay. But this is this is English actually. Semua orang, semua orang cakap English. So it's not really a secret code lah kan. Okay. Nonetheless, if you ever feel that way, okay, you are not alone. Okay, kalau kita rasa susah atau we, we feel that it's hard for us to understand things, to understand sentences, to understand conversation and everything, uh, you are not alone. Right? There are plenty of people who feel this way. Even sometimes I do feel this way as well. Right? English ni can be a tricky language to master. Right? Uh, but with a little bit of know-how, you'll be able to unlock the secret language of English and communicate like a pro. So, you know to... Um, so, at the end of the course, kita boleh take in this like pro lah. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, this is the definition, the basic definition of grammar. So, what is grammar? Grammar is the set of rules that govern how we use words to make sentences okay it's a set of rules that govern how we use words to make sentences so kita ada perkataan 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 and in order to make it a word and to make it communicable untuk menjadikan dia boleh difahami we have to make it into sentence okay uh, so in order to make that sentence okay, in order to make that sentence kita kena ada rules kita ada kena peraturan so peraturan tu lah grammar what is grammar yang bahasa melayu by the way Tata bahasa. Tata bahasa. Thank you. Alright. Uh, so, sepuluh bulan Ramadan ni kan. Ramai yang suka memasak. Think of it like a recipe of for language. Bila kita nak masak, kita ada ingredients and step 
verbs okay, yang kita kena ikut. So it's similar to when in language. Sama je dengan bahasa. Kalau kita nak bercakap atau kita nak menulis, kita nak gunakan bahasa. There are there are steps, there are ingredients that we have to follow. Okay, to make it make sense lah. Kita boleh cakap tapi kadang-kadang kita takut it doesn't make sense. So there's no point of speaking, there's no point of communicating if it doesn't make sense, if it don't make sense. Okay. Uh, just like how you, how we cannot substitute sugar for flour in a recipe, kita tak boleh nak tukar patutnya letak tepung tapi kita bagi letak garam contohnya. Okay. So sama juga dalam bahasa, we cannot substitute a noun for a verb in a sentence. Okay. Kalau dia noun, dia noun lah. Kalau dia verb, dia verb. Kita tak boleh nak tukar-tukar. Kalau tak, it will not make sense. Uh, dalam berkomunikasi, the most important thing that we have to really consider is what we say make sense. Supaya apa yang kita cakap ni, difahami oleh orang. Kalau orang tak faham, hmm, tak. komunikasi tidak berkesan, lah, tidak berlaku gagal. Okay? Uh, in my experience as a teacher, as a language teacher, uh, satu student kata grammar susah. Another thing is student cakap grammar boring. Uh, and I think it's true. Okay? Memang boring pun. Kenapa boring? Sebab kita tak faham. Learning grammar, however, doesn't have to be boring or scary. Okay? It can be fun. Okay? It can be fun. <laughs> it's like solving a puzzle or playing games. Once we know the rules, we can start to play around with them and make all sorts of interesting sentences. The best part, we don't have to be perfect at it. Okay, grammar ni, kita tak payah perfect. Uh, saya suka saya suka give this analogy to my student. Kalau uh, be, we learn English and we think it's difficult because grammar is hard. Okay, It's hard because we think uh, kita, we, we put too much attention to it. Right? Uh, if we can take example, kita cakap bahasa Melayu every day since we were little. Daripada kita kecil kita cakap bahasa Melayu, tak tahu bahasa kita tak betul pun. Tapi kita cakap. Tak ada masalah. Kita tak pernah pun fikir hukum-hukum uh, tentang bahasa bila kita bercakap. So why do we have to do that in English? Kenapa kalau kita nak speak English, we have to really consider this, that, where is now, what is past, what is present. Kenapa kita kena fikir benda tu? So, uh, Point is, we don't have to be perfect. Uh, kalau you want to be good in English, what you have to do is you have to use it. Use the language. Cakap lah. Cakap. Okay. So, cakap. You, you don't have to really uh, apa, really put emphasis on, on the grammar part. Yes, it's, it, is, it is still important, right? but don't think too much about it. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, kalau kita buat salah, kita boleh betulkan. Ha. So that's how we learn and grow. Okay, moving on. This is the objective for today. Harap-harap uh, ni. Harap-harap ni by the end of the course today, okay, we will be able to use the different parts of speech correctly. Okay. We can practice the relevant grammatical structures and we can also improve the accuracy and clarity of participants' writing and speaking. Okay, hopefully, we can get all this. Lah. Right, so these are the topics that we are going to look at. So, we've done introduction to grammar, yep, and then we're going to look at part of speech. Okay, part of speech, nanti we are going to discuss this. Um, Noun and pronouns, verb, adjectives and adverb, preposition, conjunction, sentence structure, phrases and clauses, subject, verb, agreement. So these are all part of speeches. So we are going to look at subject, verb, agreement. Uh, a little bit on tenses. Okay, we are going to look as well at some active and passive voice, punctuation. And towards the end, we are going to look at some common grammar errors and some tips on how to improve our writing skills. Okay, uh, so far, any soalan? Like? 
no question at the moment. Okay, thank you very much for answering your yeah. Okay, uh, let's start with the first agenda for today. Okay. Right, the first one that we are going to look at is the part of speech. Okay, uh, ramai orang kata grammar ni susah. Okay, sebab because of the tenses, uh, we don't understand when to use past tense, how to use past tense, when to use present tense, and then the tenses have continuous stuff and all. Okay, uh, but I am here to tell you today that if in order for us to understand grammar, all we have to do, the very basic things that we have to do is to understand the part of speech. Okay, we don't have to worry much about the tenses yet, right? As we have to know the part of speech of English grammar first. Okay, kalau kita tahu ni, insyaAllah, yang lain-lain tu akan jadi senang. So, this is the very basic of it. So, part of speech ni, ada lapan. Okay, ada lapan. Kalau tak salah saya, ada lapan. So, we are going to discuss, we are going to look and discuss each of this part of speech. One by one together, later. Okay. Uh, part of speech is like playing Lego. Huh. Have you ever tried to build a tower with just one type of blocks? Okay. Um, maybe you tried to build a tower with just Lego bricks or just wooden blocks. Okay. It probably didn't work out too well. That's because you need different types of blocks to build a strong and steady tower. The same is true for language. You need different types of words part of speech to build a strong and steady sentence. Okay. Bila kita nak buat ayat, kita memang kena gabungkan this part of speech. Alright. In order to make it a great sentence. I got all good sentence. Right. Okay. So, there are eight part of speech. Ada lapan. Okay. Lapan ni, we have to know. Kita kena tahu. Barulah kita boleh buat ayat yang cantik. Okay. Uh, that being said, kita tak boleh nak buat ayat guna Contohnya, kita nak buat ayat guna verb saja, Verb, 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 verb. Uh, Tak boleh Kita tak boleh nak buat ayat guna pronoun saja, Tak boleh okay, So, if you want to If you want to make sentence Kita kena combine all this uh, All this or some of this part of speech Untuk buat sentence yang baik Bila kita nak buat komunikasi Okay 